natural entrance. <laughs> Halloween baking with mm -hmm. Michelle Krieber and Claire Corlett. <laughs> We're gonna be making drum roll, please. <laughs> Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> it's gonna be really fun. Let's get all our ingredients. Claire, ready? Three, ready, two, two, one. So vegan pumpkin pie, paleo, grain free, gluten free, and dairy free. That checks off all the boxes for us, doesn't it, Claire? It does, Michelle. Well, then would you good crispy? Crisp. <laughs> Almond flour, coconut oil, egg, terminado sugar, because that's what we have. Coconut sugar is also probably the best, but this is what we have right now. Yeah. And it says to add like two tablespoons. We're gonna add like one teaspoon and call it a day, aren't we, Claire? Yeah. Okay, that's the crust. Cashews. Cashews, so that's for the filling. Maple syrup. Pumpkin puree. Well, we have certainly got pumpkin puree. And we also need pumpkin spice. We don't have like a pumpkin spice. We're making this on our own, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Right here we have allspice, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and cardamom. And that's gonna be all you really need. And then you also need vanilla. Extracted. Vanilla. Extract the vanilla from the bottle. Yeah. Step one, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. On it! Fair effect. Oh, I accidentally just dabbed there. I did not mean that. Ooh. I was just trying to do some kind of motion like this, and it didn't work out for me, and I didn't like it. Step two! Prepare the cruise. How does your electric mixer release? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, boys and girls, what we're going to do first is we're going to mix our crust dry ingredients in the electric hand mixer. You can do it by hand, but apparently it's harder, so today we've got our kitchen aid to aid us. So we're going to want two cups of almond Flour. Scooch your butt, scooch your booty. Are we gonna make a full recipe? Are we gonna just make half on one is one? Baby. Okay, Claire. Okay. Two cups of almond flour. Here we go. Oh! No, 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 no. Maybe. Okay, that's about one cup. Now, it says to put two tablespoons of coconut sugar, but we don't want to do that much. So we're just gonna put. Maybe one like one tablespoon of this organic turbinado sugar. It's a tornado of turbinado. Quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so two tablespoons of coconut oil after you've mixed your dry ingredients. Delightful. In here. In there. Not slowly or anything? No, you're good. I mean, you know, said a teaspoon more, but that's about it. And then what's Wash the last thing we're gonna add into our crust layer? The oud. Oh, that's deliciously gross. gross. Now, mix it up. Pulse until a ball forms. Cup. Oh. Oh. Another important thing to make sure when you're cooking is that your hair is tied back. It's essential. Mmm, that's good. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push this up against the sides of your pie tray, and then you're gonna cook it in your oven for 20 minutes and then set it aside for when the filling <coughs> is good to go, and then you're gonna put it in the oven again. Well, that's about right. Feels about right. So once your pie looks perfect, like ours, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna move this crust to, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna move this crust to the, Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna move this crust to the oven. Oh, set that time for 20 big ones. Soak your one cup and a third of cashews, cashews. in water. So here's one okay. and a third. Okay. I would say my favorite nut is an almond. My favorite nut is, don't say peanut, because you'd be lying. Ha! Fun fact, a peanut is actually a legume. Is it? Yeah. Step, I guess this is step four. You are going to want to blend your filling ingredients in the blender. We're gonna use one of these pumpkin purees. Okay, good sir. So at this point, you're gonna wanna drain your cashews and start putting in all the different ingredients for the filling. One and a third cups. Cashews. Here's your one full can of pumpkin, pumpkin puree. Pumpkin puree! Brought to you by 365 Everyday Value. Pure Meanwhile, 
pumpkin puree. I'm mixing. I did a weird little spill there. Ooh. All the pumpkin puree. It smells really good. Spices over here. Yeah. We're really gonna see how this goes. Oh, it's all too empty that there pumpkin canteen. You don't want to start. Cool. You don't want to start mixing all your species pumpkin spices together. Pumpkin species together. We're sort of improvising, so we put in, what'd you put in there, Claire? Cinnamon, allspice, caramel, nutmeg, cloves. Nice, that's a nice mix. We're going all in. Oh, that smells really what? good. Oh, this man, the like cashews. Oh, you got some protein in there. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a good, healthy Get that pumpkin pie. Sponsored by Pomegranate GTS Kombucha for a healthy microbiome. We're going to add in a bit of salt. Do it, Sam. Some vanilla. So let's put that in now. Put it in. Right. Okay, now we're going to put in the maple syrup, right? Yes. Okay, that one. also calls for coconut sugar in this, but no, no, it's fine. No. It calls for a cup of maple syrup. This is like Absolutely. maybe a third of a cup. Not. And we'll and we probably may not use we, all this. Let's just, let's just put a little bit in. Like, yeah, like this. this, like, stop. I said we could put it in the last little bit. It's not yeah. that much. We're gonna put the rest of that in, just because we've been super stingy on all the rest of the sugar. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh yeah. Mmm. Okay. Let's get our pie crust and see how it's doing. It's quite good. delicious looking. Here we go. Spring. That just looks really good. Fluffiness of what we've done created. And can I do a cute pattern? You super can. Wow! Well, this is looking cute! Right, we're gonna put it in the oven for 30 minutes because the crust has already been in for 15. Yeah. And we're just gonna see what happens. We're just gonna see what happens. All right, so we'll see you in 30 minutes. Three, two. Oh! Oh! oh. Corlet! Corlet! Oh. Corlet! Come here! Is that just frozen almond milk? Yeah, kind of. Oh, okay, let's do it. We didn't follow this recipe like at all. This is our, oh, not this at all. Is our own creation at this point. I like the little knob you put in the, in the center there. The... Oh god! Oh 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 oh! oh, 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 oh. It got way better than I thought. Hey, that was pretty good. Here's Tim. Okay. Where's Tim? Here's Timmy. Here's Tim. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. Happy Halloween. Um. <laughs> We've done it. That's really good. That's really good. Oh my God. It's like caramelized. The filling is really good. The crust is a little bit dense. No, but like in a good way though, because it really it has a texture. Mmm. Would you like to try our pie? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Could use a little more glue. <laughs> Mom, do you want to try our pie? Mmm. Very fresh. It's very good. Let's see. If you like the pie, give me a high five. High five. No, no, no. Oh, not the whole head. Here, look. Pound it. Pound it. Shake it. Yeah! Yes. It tastes very real for her. Yeah. It looks and tastes healthy. I'm just eating like cashews and pumpkin. I don't feel you bad about it. You can taste the spice. Rate this pie <laughs> on a scale of one to awesome. Oh, I would put it at a magnificent. If you do have dairy intolerance and or gluten intolerance, this is the pie for you. This is certainly yes. the pie for you. Well, nice. thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you in the next video and in the many years to come. In order to end it, I think we have to end it. Okay. So in that requires so ending it. So we...